Now, every year, thousands of people are placed on parole and probation. Within two years, a quarter of them are back in jail. Pitt County prosecutors want to see this number decrease. They say one local man is the perfect example of how the system works. WNCT's Zora Stevenson has his story. At least six days a week, I'm here. In the kitchen at GK's Cafe and Catering. Six months ago, Brenton Grice was here in prison. The penitentiary is not living. That's not a life for anybody. Grice served just over seven years for armed robbery. Now the 26 year old is out on parole and never wants to go back. Not want to go back. I never will go back. Grice says it's easy to fall back into old habits and most people do. He's on a mission to show people you don't have to be a statistic. You can change your life around and there's a thing called second chances. So I had to make a conscious decision to you know, change people, places, and things in my life. Thanks to a number of people and his own personal will, Grice has moved to Greenville, found a place to live, and a job. It's all about how you think. Change your thoughts, you change your life. Prosecutors say Grice's outlook on life, probation, and parole is admirable. He used it as, and still continues to use it as, a way of bettering himself. And I, I just, I wish more people would take advantage of probation the way he has. It's very paramount that you use it as a tool instead of looking at it as something that's holding you back. Grice is not only changing himself, he's changing others. It makes me more hopeful that those people that we find guilty in, 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 in court do have a future, do have a tomorrow that they can build upon. Grice is now a student here at Pitt Community College and is in the process of getting his associate's degree. In Winterville, Zora Stevenson, not on your side. Now, prosecutors do warn defendants probation is a privilege, not a right.